Central Luzon is a combination of towering mountains, extinct and active volcanoes, lush verdant farmlands, and natural sea harbors. It is one of the leading growth regions in the Philippines. It lies between Manila and northern Luzon and composed of seven provinces, Aurora, Bataan, Bulacan, Nueva Ecija, Pampanga, Tarlac, and Zambales. The region has 14 cities, 116 municipalities, 3,102 barangays, and 20 congressional districts. It is the longest contiguous area of lowlands and is otherwise known as the Central Plains of Luzon. Only 66 kilometers away from Metro Manila, Central Luzon contains the largest plain in the country and is the gateway to Northern Luzon regions. It covers a total land area of 2,147,036 hectares. Of these, 2,146,936 hectares are Alienable and Disposable Lands or A&D, and 942,387 hectares are Forest Lands. The city of San Fernando in Pampanga is the regional center. Aurora was transferred from Region 4 to Region 3 through Executive Order No. 103 in 2002. Population and Climate Central Luzon has a population of 11.2 million or 11% of the total population of the country. Region 3 has dry season from November to May, while rains normally occur during the months of July to October. The W Growth Corridor the W Growth Corridor strategy is envisioned to create a balanced development across the region by tapping the full development potential of the different geographic areas by taking advantages of their physical endowments. The area traversed by the first leg of the W is being pursued as the Tourism Corridor by taking advantages of pristine beaches from the western municipalities of Bataan way up in the northwestern part of Zambales. The area traversed by the inner legs of the W is being pursued as the industrial heartland owing to the intrinsic advantage of this area with the presence of economic zones and other industrial establishments in Mariveles, Limay, Hermosa in Bataan, Clark in Pampanga, Luisita in Tarlac, and along the San Fernando Malolos Corridor. The area covered by the last leg is being pursued for agricultural and forest development taking advantage of Nueva Ecija and Bulacan's vast irrigated farmlands and the presence of production and protection of forests in the eastern sections of these provinces. The transfer of Aurora to Central Luzon in 2002 further extended the areas covered by the last leg of the W. Central Luzon has 589,495 hectares of forest cover or 62% of the total forest lands. It has 36 protected areas covering 330,710 hectares. Central Luzon coastlines has 803 kilometers and has 955 hectares mangrove. Central Luzon is the third largest producer of minerals in the country. Aurora is known for its timber, Zambales for its refractory chromite, copper, and nickel deposits, Tarlac for manganese, Bulacan for marble, Pampanga for sand and gravel, and Nueva Ecija for feldspar. Accomplishments on major programs and projects. National Greening Program Launched in 2011 under Executive Order No. 26, NGP in Central Luzon has already established 81,922 hectares of plantations from 2011 to 2015. The program used modern technology in its monitoring such as geotagging and unmanned aerial vehicles or drones. 45 million seedlings of various forests and fruit trees like Nara, Mahogany, Jemelina, Cacao, Cape, Cuyabano, including Ratan and Kawayan, are now planted in the NGP plantations in the region. From 2011 to 2015, NGP has generated 99,555 jobs in the region. 21 small water impounding systems or SWIS have been constructed to 13 watershed areas in the region in support of NGP and to agroforestry farms. Kami pinagpapasalamat 
sapagkat uh, na dahil sa MGP, napakalaki po na naging tulong itong National Green Program sa aming mga uh, kababayan at kabarangay. Ang mangrove ngayon ay malaking pakinabang ng aming mga kababayan sa marami kaming isda ngayon na nahuli riyan. Cadastral Survey From 2011 to 2014, DENR Region 3 has already completed 57 cadastral surveys. Under the Land Administration and Management System or LAMS, DENR Region 3 has already encoded and scanned 707,491 public land application documents and carpeta from 2012 to 2014. 505,905 survey records and projection map, land classification map, and cadastral map were also scanned from 2011 to 2014. Land Management and Disposition From 2011 to 2015, DENR Region 3 has already distributed 49,687 agricultural and residential patent or land titles covering 16,278 hectares to landless farmers in the region. Addition to this is the 109 special patents which covers 105 hectares that were already distributed to public schools. 248,435 landless farmers and their beneficiaries have benefited from the Land Disposition Program. DENR Region 3 strengthened its partnership with the local government units in the region by forging a Memorandum of Partnership Agreement or MOPA. From 2011 to 2015, 17 MOPA have been signed and entered into by and between the DENR and local governments in the region. Forest Land Management Program FMP is a loan agreement between the Government of the Philippines and Japan International Cooperation Agency, or JICA. The project was launched in 2012 and aims to rehabilitate the 44,613 hectares denuded Pantabagan Karanglan watershed in Nueva Ecija until 2022 through community-based management strategies. The project also seeks to contribute to disaster risk mitigation effort and empower people's organizations. From 2012 to 2015, FMP has already established 572 hectares of tree planting plantations and agroforestry. Manila Bay Project The Manila Bay Project was implemented through the continuing mandamus set by the Supreme Court decision in GR No. 171947 on December 18, 2018 and its unbanked resolution dated February 14, 2011. The project developed and adopted two coastal land and sea use planning plan, established three nurseries, 192 hectares of stream bank were stabilized in Pampanga River, in Nueva Ecija, and Tarlac. Twelve trash boats were also donated to the local government of Bulacan, Bataan, and Pampanga from 2011 to 2015. Integrated Coastal Resources Management Program Under the recently concluded ICRMP, 600 hectares of coral reefs were rehabilitated in the marine waters of Zambales and 900 hectares of mangrove and watersheds were planted. The project also established nine marine protected areas in Zambales which are now being managed by the local government units. Protected Area Management Central Luzon has 14 protected areas with existing Protected Area Management Board or PAMB. Three protected areas in the region covering 26,364 hectares have ecotourism projects such as Bataan National Park, Minalungo National Park in Nueva Ecija, and Biak de Bata National Park in Bulacan. From 2011 to 2015, the DENR Region 3 has completed the boundary delineation of 12 protected areas in the region. Of these, 8 have completed the Survey and Registration of Protected Area Occupants or SRPAO. 
forest protection and anti-illegal logging. The issuance of Executive Order No. 23 resulted to the considerable decrease of incidents of illegal logging in Region 3 up to the present. Illegal logging hotspots in central Luzon have already been neutralized by the DENR. The intensified anti-illegal logging campaign of the DENR resulted in the confiscation of 249,656.40 board feet of lumber worth 9.3 million pesos, including 190 units of conveyances from 2011 to 2015. 388,706.63 board feet of lumber worth 17.4 million pesos were donated to various government organizations, religious groups, and public schools. More than half of the volume confiscated products were donated to Department of Social Welfare and Development or DSWD intended for different social welfare and development projects in the region. The DENR has also resolved 470 cases involving forestry, land dispute, mining, and other cases from 2011 to 2015. On wildlife protection and conservation, 59 different species of birds, reptiles, and mammals were turned over to the DENR Region 3 from 2011 to 2015, including the recently confiscated seven Palawan pangolins and cobra and the captured Philippine eagle. DENR Region 3 has budget allocation of 500.8 million pesos in 2010, 644.99 million pesos in 2011, 893.11 million pesos in 2012, 943.75 million pesos in 2013, 1.2 billion pesos in 2014, 1.04 billion pesos in 2015, and 800.9 million pesos as of April 2016. The DENR Region 3 is composed of 1,124 competent men and women. 19% of DENR's manpower came from the regional office, while the large chunk came from the field offices. DENR Region 3 is headed by Regional Director Francisco E. Milia Jr. with the two assistant regional directors for technical and management services. It has seven PENR officers and 12 CENR officers. Under the rationalization plan, DENR Region 3 fast-tracked the implementation of rationalization program. 753 appointments were issued from February 2015 to March 2016.